Hey everybody, please excuse the pink shininess of my face. I've just scrubbed it and yesterday cracked out the dermaplaning razor in an attempt to make it as smooth as possible for this video. It seldom happens that there will be a viral makeup look that I'll actually really like or want to try. I've long been familiar with glass skin because I've long been a lover of Korean skincare. This is kind of taking glass skin to a new level. I'm talking about this Pat McGrath Maison Margiela porcelain doll look that everybody's so excited about at the moment and trying to emulate. So when I saw it I was like oh that's a lovely idea I could absolutely do that and when Pat McGrath revealed the products that she'd used to create this shiny face I was like oh that's brilliant I've definitely seen this product here in New Zealand I've never bought it but this Freeman's face mask I've definitely seen it in shops for years it's something I can just go and get ha huh. do you think I could find it anywhere. I went to every chemist, every drugstore, I looked on every online website, out of stock, unavailable. Is it the case that like everyone's trying to do this look? Is it just sold out because everybody wants to do it? Is it just really that good that it's just sold out everywhere? It's such a great product. There were other products from Freeman's. Turns out this particular product has recently been deleted in New Zealand because of course it has. Anyway, after ringing one last chemist whose website said that they they had it in stock, I was able to obtain one sachet. This normally comes in a large squeeze bottle, but this may be the last 15 mils of the Freeman's Peel Off Cucumber Mask in New Zealand. What a bloody nightmare, you know not. How I have suffered. If I don't get this right the first time, I'm fucked. I also, of course, hunted for alternatives. I tried hair gel and I tried PVA glue. The result was that I just looked like I had a skin disease, so that was not going to work. The closest thing I could get was this, actually slightly peach colored, and it's really, really thick, but it is a clear-ish peel-off mask. Anyway, let's get on with an attempt at the look. Nobody's skin is perfectly smooth, whatever filters may lead you to believe. But mine is no exception. I have a lot of little bumps on my face that the doctor has no idea what those are. And my skin is particularly bad at the moment for some unfair fucking reason. So I'm sure that doing this will make every flaw on my face be even more obvious. Gonna get a lot of primer on the go. People always ask me what my foundation is. This is my favorite foundation of all time, Elamasca Skin Base. This is my last bottle of it. It's pretty expensive, but I'm going to bust it out for this look. Let's go. I'm actually not going to put foundation on my neck like I usually would do, because I have a plan for that. Just in case I do have to use some of this peachy colour mask, I'm going to try and counteract it by applying a little bit of this blue setting powder. Blue is the opposite of yellow, so... Now, we don't actually want to do too much contour. That's one of the mistakes I think that I've, people have made when trying to emulate this look. I fucked up. I did way too much on that side. Awesome! Of course my neighbor has decided that he's gonna mow his lawn right now. Thanks, Gov. I'm gonna go for all cool colors. So I'm using a blue highlighter. Slightly blue highlighter. And a wee bit of white. I was given this palette by a friend quite a while ago. I've never really used it, but I think I might tap into these colors down here, as well as this Revolution palette, which is kind of one of my go-to ones. Shut up, stop mowing your fucking lawn. I just closed the window to try and reduce the noise, and I looked out the window and he's mowing his lawn, like, with his pants halfway down his ass, so I really wish I hadn't had to have seen that. Concentration face on. I'm gonna start with some eyebrows. This is what I call kind of my underpainting layer, neutralish color to like put underneath everything else.
gonna try and open the eye up a little wider. There isn't a lot of eyeliner going on in this look, but we're doing a slightly gothic interpretation of it, so we've got to have a bit of eyeliner. God, these eyebrows are so sad, aren't they? You know what? I think we need to get a bit more creative with the blush. I'm gonna do something which could potentially look mega stupid and do blue blush. <laughs> Yellow blush is one of the kind of defining features of this makeup look, but we're going for cold and deadly, so blue. I'm like barely see it. <laughs> we'll just go a bit harder on the, the blue moonlighter. I'm not done with eyeliner, by the way. to use a bullet for this look and I know that Pat McGrath herself like applies lipstick with her finger but I'm just not talented enough to get like the exact shape with a bullet so I'm gonna use a liquid to matte. There's still a lot more to go, obviously, but I'm gonna try and do the idea that I had for my jawline. This may look ridiculous, it might not. I feel like if I want to achieve a more doll-shaped face. My battery died, so while it was charging a bit, I went and did my hair and finished painting my neck, added a bit more blue to my cheeks and applied a setting spray, a lot of very cheap setting spray. Honestly, the actual fashion show aspect of the Maison Margiela thing, like I, I low-key hated it. Like I thought the hair and the outfits looked quite stupid, but that's just, that's just my opinion. So I've tried to do my own sort of version of it. The time has come to do the hardest and scariest step and we've only got one chance one tiny chance so i'm going to combine this with a bit of water what pat mcgrath did was combine this mask with two other different masks neither of which are available here of course up with a bit of water and some gloss and airbrushed it onto the models eight layers drying each one with a hairdryer in between i do not have an airbrush but i do have a brush this could look really terrible or it could look amazing the goal isn't to look shiny it's to look waxy that was the word that Pat McGrath herself used was this like waxy complexion. This could be as far as we go without completely fucking it up. Whoever your god is, pray to them for me now. <laughs> the precious, the only one. I literally cannot get more. I will not waste a drop. And I'll never have the recipe again. Oh, I'm so scared. I have no idea if it's the right viscosity. stuff people have done for beauty over the centuries is stupid. This is one of the silliest, I think. They did eight layers, and after this I can't move my face, okay? So I, I, will, I will not talk. I forgot the contact lenses, so I've gone and done that. I definitely put too much on that first layer. Being more careful from now on. Oh, it's taking my foundation off a little bit.
I like the video when it was red. I don't think I can get it any better. I can't move my face. I've only done three layers. I think it's shiny enough. I think I will leave the rest of my mixture for later when I will experiment with it further and perhaps post the results on Instagram. What do you think? It certainly looks creepy, so that's something. I have applied it too thickly. It has created a kind of horrible texture in some places. My hair is sticking to it. I don't think it's too bad for a first attempt, considering I wasn't able to practice. It's very weird talking without moving my face or making any expressions. And I think maybe it would have been better without the contact lenses or with different contact lenses. I think using lip gloss ruined my lipstick. It spread it out and it lost its cute shape. Oh well, you live and you learn. Certainly an interesting look and I'm glad I was able to give it a go. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Oh, wait, we have to do the... The, the, the peel off, the final peel off, don't we? Okay, let's uh, let's do that. Peel porn coming. Here we go. Oh! Oh wow! Yeah, that looks hot. Ah. Eh. Just taking my face off. Ooh.